Hello, beautiful friends. It's Erica. Here to do another installment of my soul growth series. And today we're going to be taking a look at Virgo. And we're going to take a look at an aspect of Virgo's energy that um, may be presenting itself in your life or has presented itself in your life or will present itself at some point in your life. If you have Virgo sun, moon, rising, or Venus uh, placements. So we're going to take a look now and see what they want to talk about today. And um, also quick reminder, I do have 2019 astrological videos on my channel. Um, and I know many of you guys have actually gone back and watched them halfway through the year just recently and are commenting on how they have been helpful and really accurate for 2019. So if you're interested in any of the astrological um, energy forecasts for the year 2019, just search your zodiac sign on my channel and you should find the um, you should find the video. So and also do check out the subscription service that I just launched, which is. Um, access every month to exclusive videos that are not found anywhere else and for information on that the information is listed in the description box below there's a link to go get more information all right so let's see what they want to talk about today regarding virgo let's see what the theme is today wow okay so we're getting judgment the palace of wands and the moon okay well two major arcanas with this palace of wands in the middle here So, obviously, judgment is something that has has the upper, like it, the card of judgment. It is about evaluating. It is about assessing. It is about taking a look at things in your life. Typically, the judgment card is about reevaluation, checking in, is my life on track? If it's not, how am I going to make some adjustments? But the other aspect of the judgment card is just that. It's where you may be taking that lens and putting it upon other people. Are you judging others for having different beliefs than you? Are you... Um, whether you're vocal about it or not, there's something here as well that you may not be speaking it, but however, it may be where you're thinking it. It's um, a bit of an attitude that you have of just, you know, the judgment aspect of things, which is just kind of going around and evaluating others and their behavior or their beliefs or what their, their choices, whatever they're doing in their lives. Um, but to me, this is, it's coming through with an energy of passion. Um, to me, this feels like there's something here around something that you're very passionate about that potentially you may judge others for either not being as passionate about it or not understanding why they're not as passionate about it. But it's like the judgment stems from some deep fears, some aspects of yourself that maybe you don't realize. Maybe you don't realize how judgmental potentially you may be either being or coming across to others. Now, this is obviously a video about soul growth, okay? And all astrological signs have positive and negative aspects to them. And so, and I shouldn't say negative, there's the light side and the shadow side. And part of soul growth is becoming aware of when the shadow aspect of our energies can be making an appearance. So clearly there's no judgment here if you're being judgmental because 
It's also part of how you're wired and one of the reasons that you've incarnated here under the sign of Virgo or have Virgo in your chart because this is an aspect of your soul's journey that is important to learn from. Okay, so I want you to understand that if this is <laughs> Although many, maybe a bunch of Virgos just clicked off the video before I even said that, and that's okay. But um, this is what I'm feeling from this. It's like it stems from a place of, of something that you're passionate about, potentially even passionate about spiritually, something that you have put a lot of... Um, claim into and when I say claim it's like stability it's like it's part of your home it's part of your stability it's part of the way that you've operated your life but let's get another message about um, this theme coming in and we're getting communication is key so What's coming through is the message of, again, this can be coming through in your communication unconsciously. You may not know how this is affecting people around you. Um, you know, I've studied neurobiology and in my conscious parenting course that I, I created, one of the aspects that I talk about in there is how, you know, 90 five percent ninety percent actually ninety percent sorry eighty five to ninety if you want to be exact of our behavior comes from our unconscious that means we don't even know we're doing it it's like you know it's that moment where you know you're driving down the road and you're deep in thought and then suddenly you come to and you're like i don't even remember the last five blocks i drove did i run a red light like what happened it's because your conscious mind, your subconscious was actually driving you because it's done it. It knows what to do. And your conscious mind was op operating elsewhere, but your unconscious was driving your behavior. And so that's what often happens with our unconscious behaviors. We don't know we're doing it. That's why when somebody points it out to us, we're like, we don't do that. No, I don't do that. It's because you literally don't even realize you're doing it. And I feel like this is a strong message that's coming here through here for Virgo. So let's see how this, this theme has affected your past. The page of coins and let's see how it's affecting your current energy. The 10 of swords. So this is really about communication. This is about um, potentially wanting to do things differently. Maybe this is something that you've worked on or have wanted to work on in the past. And um, it's part, part also of your maturing process because the page is about communication, but the page is also a young energy. This is maybe, this is something that you are learning to work through is recognizing this aspect of self, recognizing how it comes out in our behavior, in our relationships, in our interactions, and then doing something about it. Um, and the way that it's, it feels like the way that it's affecting you right now could be that there's something could be ending. Something could be ending. But let's get another card here, this page of coins. Yeah. This could potentially be something that ended a previous relationship here. It's affected your relationships, your partnerships. It may have caused the ending of something that was important to you. And currently... You know, what I'm feeling is there could be somebody around you 
who's calling you on this right now? Or somebody has recently or will be calling you on this. I'm just going with the message coming through. And um, obviously this may not resonate with everybody. However, let's just get another card here for each. Your hard work is paying off. And surrender to the divine. So it does feel like this is something that you've probably tried to work on or do recognize about yourself, but you're still not aware of how often it may come through in your behavior. But the fact that you're watching this video right now is really telling that you actually want to shift this, you want to change this, and you want to understand more about yourself so that you can live more on the... Um, the beautiful energies that Virgo represents. Let's take a look at um, what the revelation, what the new learning is for you here. And guys, I will be doing an extended, and in that extended, we're going to look more into some of the other lessons Virgo has already mastered, as well as what other lessons are tied to this one um, here, how you're responding to this lesson, also what light and shadow aspects that you are embodying to be, and, and to be aware of the shadow aspects so that you can transmute them and shift them. And then we're going to get into some extra guidance along with spirit showing you what comes after you move through this aspect of your soul growth. So if this is resonating and you're interested in learning more, there will be a, um, more coming in the extended. We're going to keep going here, though, before we go to the extended. And we will get some guidance for you on this video as well. But um, let's see what the what the new learning is here for Virgo. Four of Wands. Queen of Coins. And the Hierophant. So there's a... The revelation that's coming through for you, or what you're really learning and thinking about this whole situation, is that you're wanting to create the stability. This, The Four of Wands is about hard work paying off. And we're getting this card here. This is about seeing the fruits of your labor, seeing having the success, creating the stability. As a Queen of Coins, this is also a card of success and abundance in the physical plane. This is also something that is um, someone who's kind and understanding. And this is about a, a major spiritual lesson here with um, the Hierophant showing up. This is the, and in this deck it's called Faith. So there's something coming through. If you have been worried about how this is going to affect future relationships, what this is saying is that you're learning how to work through this. You're learning how to embrace this side of yourself and also that and to be kind and loving to yourself about this uh, you might be being judgmental about yourself about this and so what spirit is bringing forth here is this revelation is like there are people that are going to understand this aspect of you and they're going to love you anyway right it's not going to be a barrier to entry <laughs> it's not going to be like um a non-negotiable for somebody necessarily for the right person but there seems to be something here possibly tied to a fear of this um it's affected relationships in the past but it also could be that you were meant to learn these lessons so that once you learn them and embrace this aspect of yourself and really shift it to the positive then um then there can be some beautiful things that come. Step out of your comfort zone. Yeah, this is what's happening is you're starting to... Um, what I'm feeling is that there's something coming through about even acknowledging this aspect of self with people around you. 
you know, letting them know like, hey, this is something that I'm working on. I'm trying to shift. Uh, if I've been this way to you in the past, I'm sorry. This is about doing things differently, which is how we started here. This is how it's affected the past. You wanted to do things differently and maybe you tried and it didn't quite work, but it's, it's take, it's taken some practice. You've been practicing and they don't want you to shut down because it didn't maybe work in the past or it just, you know what I mean? It's like, get back up, dust yourself off and keep going and keep trying. Okay, let's get, let's get some guidance here. What's your best guidance for Virgos in this situation? We're getting the Knight of Coins. Slow and steady progress. Here you go. The Nine of Coins are going to lead to success. This is about, you know, really getting good with this part of yourself before getting into another, getting into a relationship if you're single. If you're in a relationship, what this is saying is that this is about you're making steady progress. You're going to reach a point where you are in harmony with self. And you're able to navigate this part of you to create and, and manifest what you choose to. Like, if this has been what you perceive as a hindrance to the past, they're saying that you are able to change this. You're absolutely able to change this in terms of its effect, or I should say its detrimental effect on your, on your world around you. You have the ability to change it. And here we go. A new romantic cycle begins. So they're telling you that if this has affected relationships in the past, that you are going to come into more balance with this aspect of yourself, the harmony within acceptance, self-acceptance of this aspect of, of yourself and learning how there are some beautiful aspects to this. You know, the, the positive aspect of this with Virgo is that it's like you're always looking to see how you can make something better or you're always looking to evaluate and to do the best and to form your opinions and to have, be solid in your opinions. Like that's really the light aspect of the Virgo energy that's coming through. But let's see what the overall spiritual lesson is here for Virgo. There's the Page of Wands, again, communicating. More communication, but this is communication that is um, full of passion and, and emotion. Look at this. Communicating, you may not feel comfortable doing this, but this is truly about communicating. I started this video with something that you're passionate about. This is how to, your, this spiritual lesson is how to balance communicating something that you're passionate about while still having compassion for others. Communi um, taking into consideration how other people receive you, the emotional side of what you're communicating, the interpersonal aspect of what you're communicating. So this is the overall spiritual lesson is, yes, keep your passion about what you really believe in and also learn to commute and, and you're learning to communicate in a way that is again considerate kind and still something that you're passionate about but you're it's like you're not just ramming your opinions down other people's throats if that makes sense so with that, guys, I send you so much love. Um, please do, if you want to click on the extended reading, the link is down below. And go check out the information on the new subscription service. This is a type of reading that I just did here, which is included in the um, in the subscription. This is, this is what I call the soul growth readings. But in the extended here, we're going to get into also the shadow aspects, which is another type of reading I do in the subscription. So with that, guys, I send you much love. Until next time. Bye.